Hey, what's up guys? This is Krishna here. Uh, this is a tutorial about Redshift badge render inside of Houdini. Okay, so what I have here is just a simple scene um, with three things here. You know, this is not important really. What is important is that um, I have two nodes here. One is badge one and badge two. Badge one is uh, going to render one to 30 frames and batch 2 is 31 to 60 okay in total and here's the basic uh, render of this all right so if you look at redshift documentation which is under miscellaneous topics command line rendering um, it tells you a lot of stuff here which is actually pretty pretty good um, and obviously you should read this as well okay so one of the important things is this Batch render is um, useful for multiple GPUs, um, or if you want to do maybe um, network rendering, uh, because if you, you may have more than one Redshift license, you know, and you, you have two computers or whatever. Okay, so the first thing is to determine uh, the GPUs you have and their device IDs. If you go into uh, in Windows, anyway. I'm not sure about Mac, but in Windows, if you're going to um, see Program Data Redshift, and right-click on Preferences.xml and open with Notepad, you'll get this. And this is the uh, important part here. Uh, where is it? All compute devices. Okay, here I currently have um, RTX 2080 with Max Q at position zero or value zero and 1080 ti at value one okay so that's important all right so that's how you determine what device ids for your corresponding gpus are okay so once you've figured that out i'm going to take you to here so this is a a batch render dot cmd file i created it's just a text file um just dot cmd at the end instead of dot txt okay so if i and edit it so what i'm doing here is M read um, and this is the location of the file and this is the file uh, where is it texture example uh, yeah there it is texture underscore example dot h i p l c is I'm just reading that and then I'm saying redshift underscore set gpu minus s one one and this is important one and one represents use gpu1 and use gpu2 um, so and then i'm saying render space minus capital v or uppercase v slash out batch one and that refers to that refers to this node here okay so that's all you need to do now for example if you set this to zero zero what will happen is let me just open up um, let me open up this. So, if I set this to zero zero, obviously it will not use GPU at all, any GPU. All right, that's a bad idea. All right, so I'm going to leave it at one one. What does that mean? It means that use the first GPU and use the second GPU. Okay which is this one. So if I say I want it zero one, you're forcing one of the GPUs that you have to render it, which means do not use 2080 with max Q design, use just 1080 Ti, okay? And if I say it's one zero, that means use 2080 with max Q and do not use 1080 Ti, okay? Right, good. So that's how that works. And why would this be useful? Uh, let me, yeah, don't say this. So this will be useful if you look at the documentation here, and I don't know where it states, but basically if you have multiple GPUs and um, generally it will detect it automatically. And uh, for example, if I click render here, you will see that, uh, let me actually find it. Center. 
So you see here, there are two tiles representing both of my GPUs are currently being used. It uses 39%, it uses 43%. So it is being used, all right? Generally, that's what happens. It automatically determines your GPUs and uses it, okay? But the real power of this comes into play when you use um, parallel rendering. For example, so I have said here, use my first GPU and not my second GPU here, and use it for uh, wrap batch one. And then on, on here, this one, in command three underscore two, I'm saying, well, use the second GPU, but this time for batch two. So, and when you run this together, you're using the first GPU and the second GPU for different frames, meaning you are rendering multiple frames at the same time, forcing your CPU to load data at the same time for both. Now, um, for some computers, this may not be that you know time saving, but for a lot of computers, yes. I mean, especially when you have a powerful G CPU and powerful GPUs. Okay, so how do we run it? Okay, so if I uh, what is this one? Oh, this one is uh, if you want to run the first wrap and then the second wrap again using multiple GPUs rendering one frame at a time. All right, you can do this as well. Okay, good. Um, so how do you run it? So you open up that shit and uh, no, command line tools there. Houdini's command line tools, and then you create H batch, and then you drag and drop one of these here, and press return, and it'll do what it's supposed to do, and it, it'll pick it up. You don't need to have Houdini opened up at this point. You can just close it. It doesn't matter. It'll pick it up. Right, so I want to show you here. Where is it? Come on, come on, come on. Ah. There. Available CUDA devices and selected CUDA devices. And you want to make sure that this is correct. Okay, so that's how it works. One last thing I want to point out is that if you do force to use just one GPU during your next render, or for any other projects or whatever, um, it seems to stick with the with the selection. So you want to make sure that if you want to use dual GPUs, you want to go back and, and change the selection, or you can go into um, you can go into this preferences file to make sure that this is actually okay too. Uh, where is it? Uh, like where it says selected CUDA devices, you know, you want to make sure that has both of your GPUs. All right. So right now it's rendering away as you can see, and I can, uh, where is it? It's, I think it's in here, there. So this is 23rd of February at 6.30 in the morning. There you go, it's rendering away at the moment. Okay, so let's see here. Right, so it's rendered uh, the first frame. So we should really continue to do that. Okay, so that's the sense of it. And I just wanted to show you guys that. All right, so how do you cancel it? You can just press, I think, you can just press escape here. Come on. Or close it, maybe. Okay, there you go. It's done it, it'll just free up everything. And it's done.
Okay, so that is the end of the tutorial. I hope this helps you guys. Um, if it did, please share, like, subscribe, comment. Please consider um, looking at my Gumroad page as well, where I have several files here, which you may be interested in. Um, if you do purchase them, um, please consider leaving a rating for those files. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much for your support and uh, have a great day.